Hey everybody, guess who's back? It's me, Patrick. And today, I've got another creepypasta for you today. Shadow Reader unfortunately isn't going to be able to make it to this video, you guys. I think it has to do with what I wound up doing with them last Halloween. I managed to get out scot-free, yay! But, Shadow, mmm, not so much. I wonder what he's thinking about right now. Mm, he's probably thinking about killing me. Oh well, there's always Thanksgiving. Anyway, what creepypasta did Shadow get for me today? Let's see... Oh no, Shadow will have me do this? Another Spongebob one? Why? Like seriously, why? Why does he have to always do this to my best friend, Spongebob? Every time, every freaking time he has me do this crap, I'm seriously sitting there wanting to snap his freaking neck. I swear, when it comes Thanksgiving time, I'm gonna give him every single ounce of hell I can give him. Seriously, fuck that guy. He does not deserve my respect. Why does he keep doing this to me? Why does he hate me? Why does he hate my best friend? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get to the story and get it over with. Goodbye, Spongebob. It was July 2011 and I was at a coffee shop. I was drinking a nice warm cup of tea when I was surfing the web. Oh, uh, why would you even bother drinking tea if you're at a coffee shop? Doesn't make much sense, to be honest. More importantly, what kind of tea was it? I later decided to go on YouTube and search for Spongebob episodes. I saw that one had a pretty weird title, Goodbye Spongebob Lost Episode. I thought it would run away from its home, similar to the episode Whatever Happened to Spongebob. Yeah, that episode sucked. In this episode, still curious, I clicked the video. The page took 15 minutes to load for some reason. Okay, what kind of computer does that? I mean, seriously, uh, what kind of computer takes that long just to load up? I mean, maybe if you're using Windows 95 or something like that, but still. Uh, anyway, let's move on. After all the loading, the episode started with the opening theme. After SpongeBob played his flute like a nose, I, I mean nose like a flute, it went to black for two seconds, and then it got to the title card. The text was white and the background was a tombstone. The text read, Goodbye Spongebob. Oh, okay. The episode started with Spongebob watching TV with Gary and then there was a knock on the door. Patrick said he would go on a family vacation for two weeks. Spongebob said he'll miss him, give him a hug and said goodbye. Aww, he's such a good friend. A time card then popped up reading 18 hours later. It cut to Spongebob reading a newspaper on his couch, and why are the dogs constantly barking? Shadow, why are your dogs continuously barking after every video that you do? Oh, wait a minute, he's in jail. I can't, he can't answer that question. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's go on ahead and keep, let's go, let's go on ahead and keep reading. Let's see here. Uh. Oh, yeah. Then there's this loud knock on the door. I almost spilled my tea, so I muted the volume a little. Patrick, yay, that's me, comes through the door urgently with a very depressed face and said that Sandy died in a plane crash? What? No, not Sandy. <laughs> Sandy. Due to a drunk pilot, SpongeBob then let out his normal laugh. Good one, Patrick. Duh. He chuckled. Then Patrick had a serious look on his face, and in a stern voice, I said, It wasn't a joke. She died for real. SpongeBob then started breaking down into tears and then runs into his bedroom. This is a sad story. I swear, if I find Shadow, I'm gonna beat him to death. No, I got other plans for him. <laughs> The next day, the time card pops up. The bubble transition screens on the... the... flashes on the screen. It was Sandy's funeral. Patrick's parents, Patrick, Mr. Krabs, Mama Krabs, Gary, Pearl, and Spudrop were all sobbing. 
they were only loud static noise instead of actual tears. Squidward was also there, but he wasn't sobbing at all. He was laughing. Well, that's mean of him. If I find him, I'm gonna punch him in his nose. It cut to a shot of Sandy. She was drawn in the same hyper-realistic style as Bart's corpse from the Lost Simpsons episode, Dead Bart? Uh, I'm confused. Why would they add that? That doesn't make any remote sense. Could anybody explain that to me? No? Oh well. It cut to black for 25 seconds, and then it showed Spongebob at his desk from procrastination. In front of him was a sheet of paper and a pencil. He started writing, and then he spoke out loud as he wrote- Whoa! Whoa! What? What, what the heck? What, why did that window just shatter? Wait, is, is that a hand? Hang on a second. I recognize that- Oh my god. <clears throat> Patrick? <sighs> You're fucking dead. Uh, hey, Shadow. Um, how you d doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm doing just fine, Patrick. I just, oh, I don't know. I had to break out of freaking jail and slime, climb, climb through the freaking sewers to get out of there. Oh well, uh, at least you're out now. Oh, Patrick, the things I'm gonna do to you for getting me locked up in that fucking place! Hey, hey, calm down. Sh calm down, Shadow. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Patrick. <laughs> You're telling me to calm down after you sat there and killed the guy on Halloween and then got me pretty much arrested and Drew Pickles pretty much me in the ass. <laughs> You're telling me that, that ain't happening, you pink ball of fucking slime. Well, Sh Shadow, please. You're not gonna hurt me, are you? Patrick, hurt is an understatement. I know what I'm gonna do to you, but I'm not gonna reveal it just yet. Please, Shadow. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me like you did in episode three. Oh, I don't plan on killing you, Patrick. Because I know if I do kill you, everyone's going to sit there and make hate comments on my videos. And I would rather not kill you off just yet. What, what are you going to do to me? As of right now, nothing. I see that you're narrating one of the crappy pastas I chose for you. Which one is it? Uh, let me... Ah, I see now. You're narrating Goodbye Spongebob. Oh god, that story. Oh no, that story is so bad. Everybody's been requesting me to do that story, but you know what? I'm not doing it. You're gonna finish the rest of that up, Patrick. Wait, wait, why? Why me? You got me, do you want me to kill you right now? No. Then get reading, you little pink fucker. Oh, well, okay. But you better give commentary in the background. Ugh, fine, Patrick, I'll do that. It's like the one thing I'm actually relatively good at. Let's see, it, uh, did you read the rest of that, you know, cut to Sandy, the hyper-realistic... Don't get me starting on ranting, Patrick. I am not in the mood to rant right now, at least not in the next episode. Oh, okay. It cut to black for 25 seconds, and then it showed Spongebob at his desk from procrastination. In front of him was a sheet of paper and a pencil. He started writing and spoke out the words as he wrote. Here's what he said slash wrote. Without Sandy in my life, I am nothing. She made me and Patrick what we are today, and I'm thankful for her. But now with her dead, I just have no purpose in life. I can't live without Sandy. If she is dead, then I want to be dead too. Goodbye, people. I'm really sorry if I'm hurting anyone from doing this, but I can't live like this without Sandy. If anyone finds this note, then I'm long gone dead. Goodbye, cruel world. There's no noise after that, except for Spongebob saying, Farewell, and a realistic tear came out of his eye. The tear looked like a drop of water and was rolling down my laptop screen, 
It could do a rope hanging from the sea. I'm going to stop you right there, Patrick. Okay. Obviously, this is a complete ripoff of SpongeBob Suicide. And I'm quite sure a ripoff of numerous other creepypastas out there. But I think I want to sit there and focus a little bit on this one. Why are you doing that? Why are you... What... <sighs> Why is it that these entire things suck so badly? Like... Can somebody please explain to me why? Uh, I, already, I kind of already asked that question, Shadow. Oh, you did? Yeah. <sighs> Whatever, finish this shit up. Okay, um... Uh, where was- Oh, yeah. SpongeBob brings the noose around his neck and stands up on a stool. He sighs sadly and kicks the stool underneath him. His body drops faster than a lead balloon and he dies instantly. <laughs> Spongebob just stays there, and there's no audio at all, it's just dead silence. Then Blue's blood is oozing from his holes, and the blood looked realistic. It was not your typical cartoony blood. Creepy images started flashing on the screen, and at the bottom of each one it said, Rest in peace, Spongebob. <laughs> the camera then cuts to static, and then cut to the credits. However, it only listed writer by Steven Hillenberg, which was the creator of the show himself. I was scared after seeing that crap. Why would Steven Hillenberg make an episode that disturbing? If you see that episode anywhere, do not watch it and beware. The video was taken down shortly because of copyright claimed by Viacom. Thank God. The end. Well, we finally managed to get that out of the way. Another Patrick Star Reads Creepypasta finally completed and done thanks to the request of my loyal fans. Hey Shadow, uh, what did you think about this story? Well, I wasn't, ex I wasn't exactly here through most of it, but if I had to give my final thoughts, cliched and crap, that's all I can give it. Zero out of ten, would not read again. Uh, I give it a ten out of ten. What? What? Mm. What? No, I'm just kidding. It sucks. It really sucks badly. I hated it. Okay, then. Uh, that was a complete waste of time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, Patrick Star Reads Creepypasta today. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, leave your thoughts down below what you think about the story. And also, make sure to leave a suggestion on what you think Patrick Star should narrate. If anything, he's definitely, he may or may not like it. Might, may or may not like it. Pat, it's Shadow, you're uh, stuttering over your words, and you're and you're honestly this close to on the brink of death right now, Patrick. I'll shut up. All right, I'll be seeing you guys later. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>